Hello, my name is Tara Rocha. I'm a digital learning specialist at Bridging Apps, a program of Easter Seals. We at Bridging Apps want to share a solution for teachers and frustrated parents with online learning. We know there are so many great teachers out there creating content and worksheets for students to complete their online assignments. We found a tool that we think you will love. PDF Escape is a really cool tool that is absolutely free and it's a great way to create a fillable worksheet. What I mean by that is students no longer need to print out a document, fill it out with their pencil, take a picture of it, and then re-upload it so they could submit their assignment. This way, they just type right into it. So, I'm going to show you how using PDF Escape, which you just open up your web browser, go to the website, and upload your PDF. So I am going to pull up my Finder window, and I am on a Mac, but you could do this on a PC as well. I am going to navigate to a PDF, and I'm just going to drop it right in. I could also choose the file and choose to upload it. It puts it right in there. So this is a PDF and the reason why I am doing this is because it has been so difficult for students to take a PDF and print it out, then handwrite in it, take a picture, and then upload it back online for their teachers to grade it. So I want to create what we call a fillable PDF. If I've got students that don't have a working printer at home or they don't have a printer at all, this is saving them time as well. I've started creating fillable fields here and I'm going to show you just how I've done that. In the blue boxes is where the students can start typing their information just by clicking in those boxes. This is something the teacher creates beforehand. This free web tool, PDF Escape, allows teachers to create those fillable fields for free. Here's how to do it. So I'm going to go back to my document. I'm in the Insert tab. I'm going to choose Form Field. I can choose many different options. I'm going to go ahead and choose Text Paragraph. And then say Select. And then I'm going to, going to add my box in by dragging and stretching it across. I can duplicate that field by right clicking and moving it. I can duplicate again and you get the idea. I am just going to either click save but if I know that I want to download it. On the left the green button allows me to download. I'm going to go ahead and just click it downloaded. It opens up and there are my images. The blue is where the where your students can type in. And yes, I did not forget to put a name, place. And they can just click and type. I always tell my students to use the tab key on their keyboards so they can easily type from one field to the next. Now when it comes to a student ready to save their document that's been filled out to upload, this is probably the trickiest part for students that you'll want to teach them. They would go to printer. Now some um, programs allow you to actually save it with the fields. But if you teach your students to save it as a PDF, which they're going to print it, but then if they save it as a PDF, instead of choosing a printer, they choose the Save as PDF, PDF option, and then Save. My computer will then ask me where I want to save it. I could say Submission, Unit 9, and then I could put my name. It still saves it as a PDF, but the answers are in there. So all of this is done with the free version of PDF Escape. So just to review, these are the things that we love about this free teacher tool. Hope you enjoyed this. If you did, click on the like button and subscribe to our channel for more.